welcome back everyone as you can see we are going to start something new we are still preparing the amines but in a completely different way we are still reducing it but the form is nitriles now so we have to understand this thing and we are going to use one of the most expensive reagent which is lithium aluminium hydride liALH4 so let me write it for you so that you can remember that when we are going to use it LIALH4 so we will look after this in a while so let's begin with our reaction so our reaction is something like R C triple bond N well there is a speciality that the carbon can form three bonds at a single place so is for the nitrogen so they both have a combo pack for us so here we are going to use the hydrogen as usual and if you are using the hydrogen you need to use nickel palladium or platinum so in this case i am going to use nickel as the reference textbook mostly prefer now we are having either sodium or hg or just ethanol means c2 h5 oh well there is not much meaning that why i wrote the ethanol in our first reaction like in uh, maybe yes here i told you c2h5oh but uh, i enjoyed it writing that way because the book i am following and i have learned is uh, all about going in that manner so i enjoyed delivering the pretty much same content so don't mind that thing so let's start doing the things so the reaction is pretty much simple just add hydrogen break the bonds and that's it but as you can see we have to remove two bonds and two bonds means four electrons four electrons require four hydrogen to handle so we need two more hydrogens so let's write two and it's done now we can write r c s2 n s2 and there is a single bond between every one of those so it's done so why we are using ethanol well the purpose is pretty much the same to bring out the disturbance always remember we are going to learn our concept here that if there is a single bond it repels because we are talking about the sharing of electron electron is going to repel so it will be just like a circle thing the bond itself is moving in the orbits and it is sharing here so this is the single bond what in case the double bond so this is not actually the double bond double bond would seem like this so what will about the triple bond triple bond will seem in 3d you can imagine this this or maybe the outer inner side in this one so this is x y and z axis and sometimes it's different either so this is my presumption of seeing these things i told you this so that you can understand the glimpse that it's not that simple to make the things viable and the reality is quite different than these things because this is not always been the case this will going to continuously change because the electron is moving it is not static it's dynamic it's moving continuously like the electrons this electron come here this electron come here this electron will come here this electron will come here so we have actually nothing in the bond let me change the color to highlight this we have nothing here like these electrons are actually not here so it is the positive area so the things are not that simple as we study i am giving you a glimpse about that so that you can understand that how the things are actually working okay without wasting much time let's proceed on the next reaction on the reduction of amides this time so that we can learn along with the way so what i'm trying to teach you is the concept when you learn the concept the thing eventually becomes a little easier to grasp 
and if you have any problem you may always tell me and I will get back to you in my next work and sometimes in the comment maybe <laughs> so let's begin the initial work is done here so as you can see in the reduction of nitrile case we remove the two bonds by hydrogen similarly we require to remove two bonds along with this oxygen molecule let me change the color so that you can see the things clearly we need to remove this so what you think it can remove well we are using a strong agent as i already told you it is a very strong agent and we are using h2o which itself is water but i have a question here why don't we just add hydrogen just like every other place and form the reaction pause the video here and think for a moment hmm now let me tell you the reaction first then we will discuss its detail so the reaction is pretty much simple rch2 and nh2 so the reaction is pretty much simple we are using h2 as i have suggested but the o is unstable well if you are thinking of this o so this will going to form o2 which is absolutely right so congratulations you have cracked the code but hey stop why don't we just use h2 in place of h2o if we have used h2 as i have shown you here on the upper side so that will that should also work but that's not working so what is the problem with adding this h2 well the h2 will not going to work because just imagine what will happen if just one h in the h2 goes and adds up with our amide so it will be seem something like this it will going to o remove one bond form h and n h2 and as we know there are billions and trillions of compound or atom no not an atom uh, molecules so there's a huge chance that two pair have this kind of the condition and we have h2 removed or maybe a different combination of it so this will be a troubling point as we do not know that which condition the oxygen is here it is positive negative which charge is carrying it is acidic in nature basic in nature in the current position because the electrons are keep on changing as i told you if no electron is there this is highly positive if the electrons are there all four electrons this is highly negative so who will going to decide because electron in the oxygen itself is electronegative so we are using h2o that is our best bet that you can place in any condition because if there's acid and you place water it will act as base and if it's basic in nature and you add water it will act as acid in nature so it will always going to neutralize and always going to work the best possible condition and this is the beauty of water so you can always use the water where you are unsure and it works it almost works every single time so this is the reason we are using h2o and to bring out the efficiency we are using lialh4 which is quite expensive reagent i'm using the word consciously because this is actually expensive so we are going to see the name reactions as we have done with the basic reactions so stick with me stay tuned god bless